Hello, my name is Victoria and today I'll show you three ways how to block a website on Google Chrome. Let's go! You can use Google Chrome to access practically any website. However, there may be times when you need to block it, for example, content filtering. As a parent, you may need to block some websites to prevent your children viewing them. This can also keep children's attention on a kid-friendly website. Malicious websites. Computer viruses are harmful to your device and can even go around antivirus software. So if you come across a website that is spreading a computer virus, you should block it immediately. Work mode. Preventing access to websites can boost productivity. People can focus more on their job if they have less distractions on their phone or computer. So let's go over three ways how to block a website on Google Chrome. Accessing and editing the host file is one way to block a website. Host file is a text file in your operating system that stores domain names and their IP addresses. You can use it to block websites by redirecting the domain name to your computer. But before starting, make a copy of your host file so that you have a backup in case anything goes wrong. Alright, open terminal on your computer. In the terminal, type in this code. Your host file will open up in nano box. Then enter the administrator password to open your host file. Now at the bottom of the last line, type in localhost IP address and then after pressing tab for space, type the domain name of the site you want to block. If you wish to add more websites, repeat the process. Then to save, press Ctrl O and then exit the host file by pressing Ctrl X. To avoid crashes, remove your cache by typing this code and then pressing Enter. And then open the browser to test if it worked. The second option to block a website is to use a browser extension. I recommend Blocksite, which is one of the most popular website blocking add-ons. Go to the Chrome Web Store on your Google Chrome browser, type in block site extension in the search bar and press enter, and then click on the block site red shield icon and hit add to Chrome. When the pop-up window appears, click add extension to download. Once the download is complete, block site will be added to your list of extensions. Now let's block a website with this extension. Access the block site settings by clicking on extensions, then block site, then press more actions. Now type in the website you want to block in the block sites bar and press enter. If you want to block access to the websites even in the incognito mode, search the gear icon for the settings and then enable in incognito mode. The website you entered should now be blocked in the standard and incognito modes. Users will now see web pages from block site like this every time they try to visit it using your browser. Another way to block sites is by putting the block site extension on your Chrome toolbar. Go to the website you want to block and then click the red shield icon on the top right corner of your screen. Then press block the site on the pop-up window. If you don't want to block websites on your computer completely, block sites offers password security. When users access any of the sites on your block list, block site will ask for a password. Many devices include built-in parental controls that can be used to block websites. It's a great tool, especially if you want to limit what information your children have access to. Mac also has built-in parental controls called Screen Time, however, it does not block sites in Chrome. Here's how you can block your website on Windows. Find Settings in the Windows menu and then click Accounts to set up a child account. Click on Family and Other Users, then press Add a Family Member and finally create one for a child. Then access your Microsoft account page, head to your child's account and click Overview and Content Filters. In the Blocked Sites bar, enter the URL or the domain name of the site you want to block. Once done, click the plus icon to add it to your block list. And then check the result by switching to your child account and then see if the site is blocked. And that's it! Now you know how to block a website on Google Chrome. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and I will get back to you. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and subscribe to our channel for more content. See you in the next video!